Hey, how you doing? This is Michelle coming to you from the U.S. in Pennsylvania. So yesterday we did a split cup pour with the six compartments. Uh, today I just want to do a regular straight pour uh, the old classic way. I started to do it, um, but then my uh, camera fell, so <laughs> we're doing it over. Put my pillow puff uh, down have the magenta in here, um, have the uh, indigo, I guess it's more like a navy, you can see that. And now I'm going to add the teal. So there's no silicone in these paints, we're going for a straight ring pour. I don't like cells in my ring pours, you might. In that case, maybe you would want to do another pour. Alright, what am I going for? Uh, let me put this down for a minute. Look at this color. This is Thalo Violet. And what was the other violet? It was just, oh, it was Violet from Grum Baker. And this. I'm sorry guys. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to um, document when I'm using more, but this is pretty much just old paints. And I use different kinds of paints, different brands. Just got to be careful with how you uh, stir, how you mix your composition. Alright, enough chitter chatter. Put the violet down. I like magenta on my pink red fan. Even though I know it takes over. Green scares me. I'm always afraid to get that muddy effect. This will be interesting to see how this turns out. This, um, I believe, was a copper that I made up, but I'll tell you what I added. So this was today. As I, I, I've tweaked these uh, paints because I've used them yesterday, and you always want to check your consistency. Anyway, I used my Iridescent Gold Deep by Golden. Love this company. Employee owned. They're so impressive. Their quality is top notch. Shout out to Golden. I don't work for them, but I, I love their product. Um, USA, too. Let's see. So, indigo. I'm going to put a little black. A little bit. Throw magenta in there again. Let's do the violet. I'll try to do this part quicker. Love my metallics. Uh, teal. A little bit of green. I think I'm done with the green. if you guys hear the birds out here. Nice. I don't know how long I'll be able to paint outside. It's the middle of October. It's going to be too cold soon. I don't like the cold. But what are you, what are you going to do? East Coast. The only time it's really nice is like the holidays because it's cozy. You get the fireplace going. It's the only time I don't want to be in sunny weather is, uh, you know, Christmas. But I, I really couldn't complain <laughs> if all year round the weather was nice. Here I go with the violet again. This is just random. I 
like to go with it. I don't I don't want to be on anybody's schedule. I don't want to be on a regimen. I don't want to be measuring every little thing. I want to be free. Right? We all want to. I hope I reach you in some way these videos help you. Um, I've watched videos like these. They've helped me before. I like when the artist shows the consistency. That's helped me. Um, and talking about uh, what brands. I use uh, Golden and Artessa all the time. I like liquid Liquitex scares me a little bit though because um, it dries quick and I prefer slower dry. Um, and then Artessa is just, they, they're just, their, their paint is phenomenal. Um, golden, top notch. Ooh, this is one of my favorite colors right here. Peacock Pearl. I just happened to see it. I wanted to add it to the teal, but couldn't find it among this mess. I do need to clean up. What do you think? More? Let's go for more. Feel bad about the green. Maybe I'll just give her a dash. It's just like perfect right now. Look, if you're stuck at home, you can't work. Now more than ever is a good time to figure out what it is you want to do. Can you make money off of what you like to do? That's what you have to think about. Um, I paint because I love it. I don't know where I'll go with it, but <laughs> it's just, I'm in love with it. Okay. I do love this teal, so let's see if I just put a huge puddle right here. Just experiment. Let's do it. Huge bottle. Uh, I love uh, copper mixed with uh, gold. Let's just put a big one in for that too. Oof, look at that. I love when it does that. Leftover paints. I think they're the best. I really do. Okay, we're kind of full. Oh boy, we're really full. Okay, so this is a 24 ounce cup. And this is a 12 by 12 uh, canvas, so I obviously have too much paint here. Um, but, you know what? Let's hold off. Because I have a bigger canvas out here, but it still needs to be prepped because it's... <sighs> All right, well, let's just give it a shot, see what, see what happens. Going this way. This is straight pour, nothing fancy. Pour it right on there. Let it, let it do its thing. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong if you put a uh, heavy layer of teal in your uh, cup because it's just it's beautiful this is different the teal and the light that I'm in which is natural light uh, the sun just set it just set I don't like how that's coming out. 
let's just switch her up. I don't want to roll off there, do we? Let's just give her a try. I don't see any air bubbles, so I'm just going to live it. Normally with these ring pours, I do more than one anyway. I tend to make too much paint, which I like to do because it gives me that freedom and I don't have the pressure of, oh geez, I gotta make this uh, work because this is all I have left. No. So, this is something I like to do, um, I'm not an art teacher, um, I just love to paint, and I know there's many people out there that are like me, and during this time, I figured it'd be cool to share my pores with you as I've enjoyed others do. Okay, so that's what we have right now. Didn't drop it. I love to kind of let the paint do its own thing. I mean, with a little guidance. But um, that's where I want it. I want it to stretch out that blue. It's kind of cool. <sighs> not there yet, though. We are not there yet. We gotta make something. Worth watching. Let's see. Okay. Grabbing our cup again. Just doing it over here now. Wow. That's different. It's good to move in fluid like motion here. Seems to work best. I don't know what I'm doing here. Look, I'm losing that guy. Skeleton looking guy. Hmm. Kind of cool. A little dark. A little dark for my tastes. I don't know if I want to lose all that. See those colors? Layers and layers of colors. So I'll go this way. not a matter of, oh, I gotta use all this paint. You know how to store it? You could use it, you know, months later if you're storing it correctly. That's cool. Cells are kind of strange. In a good way.
what to do, what to do, what to do. It's not that it's not pretty, it is. It's just, I need that wow factor every time. You don't get it every time, but let's see if I do my rank. There we go. Go the other way. Nah, it's just like the purple's overtaking. Mm. This may be my first E video where it's just, I might not post this one. But, not giving up. Can't give up. You won't want to give up all the time you use mixing these paints. Getting exactly what you want. Show you what I'm trying to do here. This dark guy. I don't think that's a cell. It's probably one of my droplets. There you go. Bye bye. See you later. Boom. Alright. Whoa. It's got windy out here. Huh. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a little more. Um. little dark. Our, uh, our violet definitely took over. Um, hmm. Eh, let's torch it. Let's see what's, see, uh, what happens with that. Ah, oh, shoot, I keep doing that. This is what we do. We just slide her off. I'm so messy. Just looking at it thinking, I hope that these are cells and not droplets that I didn't have a clue I dropped it on. Let's try to get these guys off. I don't know, right now I'm practicing my ring pours. It's not my thing, per se, but I enjoy doing them. Oh man. I mean, what is that? I wish you guys could tell me, because I can't see. I don't know, I think they're cells, but for some reason they're dark. Could be the copper. You know what? I'm going to leave it. Because when this, these kind of paintings dry, they're beautiful. Now, onto the torch. to take my gloves off because they are covered in paint. Okay. I don't know what number we're at as far as how long this is taking. But, uh, Try to speed it up here. That is not going to work. Hold on, give me five seconds. We'll see. Okay, I gotta get 
get fresh gloves on. thing is just worries me because I don't want any muddy spots. It's like, I don't know, it's, the paint almost looks old or something. Look at the cup, it's pretty cool. You can see the cells in there. Go for it. Yeah. You know why? Because I seen that. I was like, oh, oh I gotta get, I gotta pour it. Look at that. Gold coming through. Yes, lusciousness. Love it. It's like magic. Playing with magic. Look at this cells, that's awesome. Okay, lots of paint on here. Wondering how it's gonna go. Mm. Don't wanna ruin it, take away anything we have going here, yikes. Uh, I guess it's gotta go, it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Look at that. Okay, now it's getting more interesting. You see what I'm talking about? Sometimes you gotta play with it. Time and patience. Uh oh. Here comes my daughter. Yes? <laughs> I'll be in in a second, honey. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we're not ordering McDonald's. Should I do something with that? I'm looking at the cup, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm gonna do it, folks. I really kind of like the cells that are coming out of here. Look at that magenta. It's like, uh, hot pink or something. I love those colors. Hmm. Very different. Very different indeed. Difference good. is very good. Alright, I'll leave it like this. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for uh, dried results. Hold on, darling. Jeez. Okay. Yes. I don't know why they think they're going to get McDonald's. Um, yeah. I wonder if anybody out there likes this. I'm just not really that sure about it. See when it dries.
that, do it over. All right, have a good one, take care.